Hello and welcome. My name is Amir and today we are going to solve the puzzle number 5 on the advent of code 2023. As you can see, I have already solved it and got my stars. Uh, this was pretty complicated, especially on part 2. So I didn't want to waste your time. Uh, and I will just show you the solution and my thought process on getting to the solution. So here, as you can see, we have a list of seeds and then some mapping that goes beneath that. And we need to find which seed shall go to which uh, location in the end. So how does this work? Here we have a range starting from 50 and going 48 steps ahead. Seed number 51, 52, up to 50 plus 48 will be mapped to soil number 52 up to 52 plus 48. So this is for the seed, this is for the soil, and this is the count. 50 will be mapped to 52, 50 plus 48 will be mapped to 52 plus 48. The same goes here. 98 will be mapped to 50, 98 plus 1, 99 will be mapped to 51. So looking at this, we, would, we could get the soil for seed number 79. For 79, it, it is like 29 after this, so it should go 29 after this. We get the seed. It will be 81, then we would map the same thing. So we get this soil number 81 and map it here. Here is another interesting part. The 81 is not existing here. So 52 plus 2 is 54, 0 to 15 is 15, and 15 to 37 is 51. So, because we are not counting the last one. So 81 that we found here will not be here, so it will be the same. The fertilizer will be 81. Then we go here, 81 will be to 81, because 81 cannot be found in these chunks, and then we go down. So this is pretty standard and we can solve it pretty easily. So let's see my solution. For part one, here I just split the data and then get the part where the input exists because it's written like this and I'm just throwing away this part and getting all of these. Then for each of these parts, for each of these maps, I'm just splitting each part of the input and provide some array for all of these inputs that we have. And I'm throwing out the first part, which will be this part that we don't want. Pretty standard. Then I get the input seeds and run it through a map with each of these numbers, which will be a seed, through a map that will consist of the uh, map from the seed to soil to give me the soil. Then this will give me a soil and I will run soil to the soil to fertilizer and so forth and so on. And this map is the same between all of those because the logic that we have is the same between all of the mappings. And how does the mapping works? If we go here, we have a mapping and we have an X. I called it X and I'm going from X to Y so that it's much easier to understand. I would get Y to be Z minus one and then I would cut the mapping to the end part, which is uh, this part. And this is the start part and this is the count. I'm extracting these parts and if the uh, seed that I want is between a chunk, then I will find it and I will break. Otherwise, and otherwise I will continue and if I get to minus one, which means that I didn't find it, I would say that just return the x. So how does this work? So let's go here. So we have a bunch of chunks and let's say this chunk. So this is going from 7 to like 10. This is going from 21 to say 30, 41 to 50 and this is going from 80 to like 100 and let's say we have like 47 the seed number is this one and this is the map that we have this 7 is coming from here 
and then 10 is coming from this number plus this number so for this one the mapping works like this I would run this through all of these chunks and if I found the chunk that this number is greater than this and less than or equal to this one then this exists on this chunk somewhere here then I would get this number minus this one it would give me the distance and I will see which number does this map to so in this case this is mapped to 52 I would get the map and would add this distance to it and I would get to soil so from going from seed we go to soil and then for the soil we have the same logic with the different parts different chunks so to say we go from soil to the uh, fertilizer and so forth and so on this is pretty trivial and we can easily solve this but let's go to the part two on part two it says that these are not seed numbers but rather range so from this seed until this seed number plus these so a huge number of seeds are existing in between these two then from this seed to this plus this so I don't know it's like 90 billion to 90 billion plus 49 billion seeds and this this is a huge number of seeds so we cannot take each of these numbers and run it through this map it would take like forever so we need to come with another solution the solution that I found is like this let me remove these parts so we have a chunk of seeds here starting from this until this plus this and as always we have some mapping that goes like this so suppose something like this we need to have different chunks of this based on these values so how can we do that let's say I have this color so this is here so from here to here we have a chunk of inputs chunk of seeds and this is represented to here then from here to here we have another chunk this chunk and uh, this chunk so these are the chunks that we have and we are missing some parts here these ones that will be mapped to themselves because the ones that are not in the map will be mapped to themselves so we need to find the values the maps that we have for for example this value then this value which is the same as this this value which is the same as this and so forth and so on. so for this part which is this part this will be mapped to for example this chunk in soils then this will be mapped to I don't know for example this chunk of the soils and this will be mapped to somewhere else and so forth and so on. so this will give us another chunk another set of chunks that we would work on and here we don't have only one chunk so this is one of the chunks of the seeds so we could have like different ones and this will these will accumulate on top of each other so this will be like for example seven different chunks and this will be like four more chunks and this will be like five more chunks so we would add all of them together and go forward so these chunks will be accumulated as time goes on and in the end we would get a bunch of locations and we would just get the uh, minimum value on those locations like here that we have so I don't want to run through each line of code to show you what's going on it would take a lot of your time and I don't want to do that so the code is here and I'm uh, using function generators here instead of return so that we could yield uh, values as we go along and yeah this way we could get to the answer pretty fast 
So yeah, that's it about for puzzle on day five. The link is in the description as always if you would like to go and check or update the code or even provide some comments on my code, be my guest and do that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.